Hello, hope you're well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today and it is an ice storm outside, complete blizzard here in New York on Monday. I'm gonna take you guys through what I've been eating in a day that's been keeping me fairly warm. I mean, it's basically the stew and cookie diet as you guys saw the past few day of eating videos but let's take a look. Now I'm probably going to have two meals today and for meal number one we have to get some cookies baked, heat up our soup on the stove top, then with the meal we have to take some supplements with some water kefir throughout the meal uh, just to keep everything in check. And I have the soup made several days ago, I believe two days ago. Usually the batch of soup in the instant pot lasts me three to four days, usually like three and a half days and then I have to make it on the, the fourth day. So here's what we have. We did the beef and barley stew recipe a few months ago and this is made with veal instead of beef and sometimes I add a few things here and there like I think I added garlic this time, sometimes I don't. I added some potatoes this time uh, which I've been liking lately but let's get some of this in the pan. So this soup congeals together. You know the barley sucks up all the liquid. There's a decent amount of collagen in the broth that's used to make it. Now since this is so congealed what I like to do is add a little more broth to it. Maybe half a cup. Crack some pepper in there and add a little more salt. So depending on how quickly I want to eat I'll either you know keep this on low for half an hour to 45 minutes or I'll warm it up real quick on high for five minutes. In this case since we have to make the cookies it's going to take a little longer. Now these are actually the vegan cookies I made in that recipe video I think about two months ago and I'll usually make enough for two or three days worth of cookies and then when I actually bake the cookies I'll make enough for two meals so one day. Uh, in this case since I don't have any cookies left over from the previous meal we just need to get some parchment paper and portion out a few cookies. And we'll bake these until they're slightly golden brown maybe 20-25 minutes. We'll stir the stew a couple times throughout that period of time and everything should be ready relatively quickly. Cookies are done, just need to cool off about 10 minutes. My family's a bunch of carnivores, oh wee! And our stew is heated up. We'll just put it in the bowl and sit down. So I'm gonna have the first bowl of stew, then we're gonna take our supplements, drink some water kefir, then we'll have the second bowl of stew, and then I'll have the cookies. Usually I try to have a stomach full of food before taking supplements because I like them to churn and absorb almost as if it was taking you know, a natural food that was high in those vitamins and minerals that I'm supplementing. The stew in general with barley, potatoes, veal is very high in B vitamins, overall very high in macronutrient energy. There's some coconut oil in there for the fat and it has a nice balance of plant minerals as well. If you guys haven't tried this, you know, it's a great balance of the plant-based and animal-based nutrition sources and it tastes really good. Not so much the first day after you make it, but the flavor gets a lot better the second day. Veal, barley, white potatoes, onions, garlic, coconut oil, bay leaf, thyme, and mushrooms. And I use the organic store-bought beef broth and bone broth. All right, so now I feel like I have something in my stomach. Let me show you guys the supplement regimen. So if you guys didn't see the video I did on water kefir last Saturday, definitely check it out. I'm gonna strain out some of the second fermentation water kefir is actually bubbling over. Uh-oh. So when the bacteria eats the sugar, it creates gases. And you know when it's closed, the gases can kind of bubble over. And what's also interesting is if you take some just regular water kefir that maybe hasn't been fed in a little while, and you put a little bit of sugar in it, the bacteria sometimes goes crazy. So we put a little bit of sugar in there, and it just started foaming up like that. Sometimes when the bacteria is really hungry and you put a little more sugar in there, it basically just kind of explodes all over. Now the specific vitamins and minerals I'm taking is based on my understanding of nutrition. On the left here is stuff I'll take occasionally that I'm not taking today. Uh, vitamin B complex, D3, antioxidant support, as well as the vitamin K2. What I am taking today is selenium, copper, iodine, trace minerals, and magnesium glycinate. So I'm basically just taking minerals today. And uh, these are on organsupplements.com. Uh, you kind of have to shake some of them up before you use them because the powder tends to settle at the bottom. 
but it's just spring water and then the powdered mineral ingredient. So first we want to take one full dropper of the selenium. When you're deficient in a mineral, it shouldn't really taste bad. You know, so the selenium, although it doesn't have a good taste, it's kind of like, I kind of almost want to drink this for some reason, which can almost signal that your body is, you know, craving the mineral despite not liking the taste of the food. Uh, so then we have the copper. Uh, the selenium was uh, 50 micrograms for the full dropper. So I actually might want to do a little more today. We'll do 100 micrograms. So we'll do another full dropper. Uh, the copper is three milligrams per full dropper. So maybe we want a little less than one dropper. And the copper is kind of cool because it's blue. You can definitely taste that. Tastes like uh, the earth almost. And we have the magnesium, which is actually the highest volume mineral. And it's probably the strongest tasting too. And you really have to shake this one up. You know, most of these are okay if you don't shake them, but the magnesium is, is mainly the one I'm suggesting shaking all of them because of. So this is 200 milligrams of magnesium for five full droppers. So you, know, you have to take quite a bit of this stuff. If you guys don't really like this, then I would definitely just get a capsule supplement. But since it's five full droppers, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to like drink this. And you know, it has like a, a kind of off chemically taste, but a slight sweetness because of the, the glycine in there. And then we have the, the trace minerals, which is boron, manganese, and molybdenum. One full dropper, which is what I want today. Actually, I'm going to clean my palate with the kefir. You know, of course, you know, blend these into a drink, blend these into a smoothie. Don't just take them straight up like this, but by all means you can. And then we have the iodine. Uh, I usually use this transdermally. Uh, so... What you can do is just you know, rub it on your stomach, rub it on your thyroid, wherever you want. So I'll do my stomach today. And the transdermal absorption rate of iodine is about 10% of oral. So just bear that in mind. And now I'll actually take some digestive enzymes for the meal. I'm just using now super enzymes right now, but hopefully in the future I have my own enzyme supplement. So that's basically all the supplements and enzymes for this meal. So I poured another glass of water kefir uh, to have with the cookies. So I'm not that hungry this meal. I think I'll just have maybe half a bowl and we can leave this for the second meal or tomorrow. You know, it's not too hot outside, so it should be fine. You know, sometimes maybe 10% of the time I don't make the water kefir correctly, which actually happened today. So there was a little bit of residual sugar left over. So when you taste the kefir and you still taste the sugar, usually you don't want to drink it because it might upset your stomach, but I'm really just not that hungry today. Maybe we'll eat more later, but I'll grab a cookie or two. So this has basically been my dessert with every meal lately. Some cookies and some water kefir. Basically caloric energy. You know, cookies are flour, sugar, fat. Chocolate's high in magnesium and copper. Cookies are very, very tasty. When I get the recipe right and the temperature on the cooking right, I can eat like, like 10 of them. Really good. You know, so before I started drinking the water kefir, I would get acne if I ate stuff like this because the carbohydrate content is just so high, the sugar content is just so high, you're getting candida overgrowth, but the lactobacillus, the beneficial bacteria in the kefir, rebalances your gut microbiome and allows you to eat foods that the normal person eats. So this is one of the few days out of the week that I think I'm actually only going to have this meal. Most days I eat twice. Maybe twice a week I end up eating one meal and that's just because I'm not hungry like today. You know, if I sleep really well, and I'm not too stressed out. I don't need as much food and that's kind of what happened the past day or two. Uh, so I feel pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do maybe a couple more hours of work then go to bed because I have to wake up early tomorrow around 4 a.m. Uh, to you know shovel the snow, get down to Frankie's syringe meet. We gotta fill all the orders for this week on Tuesday. Uh, because of said snowstorm. So you guys can check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com for that veal top round, which is incredibly affordable, low in iron. Uh, you know, that's the main reason I'm eating it. You can go to organsupplements.com for all of those minerals. Uh, we use some nature's glucose in the cookies that you can find on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And the water kefir grains that we use to make the water kefir are also on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And I did forget to mention that you can use the water kefir grains over and over again. It's not like a one and done thing. You just strain the kefir grains out of the kefir and then you reuse them for the next batch. Probably a very important detail I overlooked that I should have included in that water kefir video. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.
Thank you.